In recent years, we've seen semi-truck trailers explode in ways you wouldn't believe, all due to a hidden danger, end-of-life lithium-ion batteries. Let's count down the top five explosions, and by the end, I'll reveal a major change we need to protect our first responders and everybody else on the roadways. End-of-life batteries are often shipped in bulk, usually packaged in 55-gallon drums or large Gaylord boxes. On the surface, this seems like an efficient way to transport them, but there's a hidden risk. Inside of these containers, the batteries aren't always damaged when they go in, but as they sit at the bottom of these heavy stacks, the pressure and the constant road vibration, they can cause them to get crushed, scraped, or otherwise compromised. This stress can trigger battery failures, especially when these batteries are already at their end of life and more prone to issues. And it doesn't stop there. As these compromised batteries, they start to overheat, they release highly flammable gas like hydrogen and carbon monoxide. Best case scenario, they cause a fire. And we've seen many of these trailers go up in flames. Worst case, however, that gas builds up and there's an explosion. This video is sponsored by Blazestack Fire Investigation Software. Blazestack is a fully featured fire investigation case management platform that arson and fire investigators rely on to log, document, and report fire investigations. Get a free trial at blazestack.com and request a quote using the discount code STASH. Starting off at number five. On February 22, 2023, just west of Monahans, Texas, a FedEx freight truck was forced to pull over on Interstate 20 after the driver noticed smoke billowing from the rear trailer. This trailer was loaded with two electric vehicle batteries. The smoke quickly turned into fire after a minor deflagration occurred. The explosion blew the roll-up door off the trailer, scattering debris. The fire ultimately destroyed both trailers, but fortunately, no injuries were reported. Believe it or not, unlike other hazardous materials, which must clearly display DOT placards that alerts first responders or anybody nearby of potential risks inside the trailers, lithium-ion batteries, when they're hauled in trailers, they don't require any placards. This leaves everyone unaware of the real dangers they could face if there's an emergency. At number four, in August of 2024, a semi-truck hauling a Connex container down I-75 near Dalton, Georgia, they experienced a sudden deflagration. The force of the event, it ballooned the container, blowing the back doors open and scattered damaged batteries across the highway. The debris field that stretched for nearly a quarter mile, leaving a dangerous mess of electronic waste mixed with damaged lithium ion batteries. Though most of the container was filled with e-waste, just a few barrels were enough to create a major hazard for drivers and first responders, and a real difficult cleanup effort. Even though placards aren't required on the outside of the trailer, the products inside are required to be labeled. Unfortunately, this doesn't do a whole lot of good for first responders when they're sizing up an incident from the outside of the trailer. Coming in at number three. On the afternoon of January 27, 2022, firefighters from Alameda County were dispatched to a FedEx tractor trailer fire in Livermore, California. Upon arrival, they encountered light smoke coming from the front of the trailer. As we already know, that's a flammable gas, a vapor cloud. It's reported that inside that trailer was a 215-pound defective Tesla battery that was being transported for return. Now, there's some actual debate around the origin of this battery and if it really was a Tesla battery, but 215 pounds, it's pretty light for a full Tesla pack. It could be a module, but unfortunately, there were no pictures of that battery in the report. As crews prepared to fight this fire, they planned to cut an opening in the side of the trailer to access the battery. Let's watch the video and see what happens. As you can see, while they were cutting into that trailer, the sparks, they caused an explosion that blew the rear door off that trailer. I am so glad nobody was behind that trailer and the crews were safe. Ultimately, it worked out. They got access to the inside of the trailer. Would I recommend it? Probably not. Would they choose to do that again? Probably not. But after regrouping, they were able to extinguish the fire and secure the scene. There may be some debate on how I classify the last two events, so feel free to let me know in the comments below. Coming in at number two. On March 31st, 2023 in Birmingham, Alabama, a semi-truck was parked at a Flying J and there was a catastrophic explosion. The blast was so intense that it sent the trailer's roof flying 40 feet into the air 
And yes, this trailer had a roof. It wasn't just a flatbed. The trailer was fully loaded with end-of-life batteries, DDR batteries, damage-defective recalled batteries, and although there were no injuries, there were a ton of batteries involved in this incident, and the cleanup took quite some time. You should really check out my other videos for the full interview about this incident. I interviewed the battalion chief that was on scene. So far, not one of these trailers had placards on the outside. But even if they did, the Class 9 placard doesn't cut it. It doesn't clearly identify what's inside. Also, the drivers, when they're pulling trailers that have that Class 9 placard, they don't need any special training or hazmat endorsement. And finally, coming in at number one, on April 23rd, 2017, in Houston, Texas, a train transporting shipping containers full of end-of-life batteries, it was rocked by a powerful explosion. The blast ripped the container open, scattering batteries and debris across the surrounding area. Compared to traditional trailers, there's a lot of structure to a shipping container. Heavy steel walls, heavy roof, floor, doors, everything. It had to have been an incredible blast to do this type of damage. Nearby residents, they reported hearing a deafening boom, and some even had windows shattered from the shockwave. I was walking inside, and all of a sudden, uh, an explosion went off, and it threw me into the threshold of the house, like uh, up against the door. Fortunately, there were no injuries. It's unfortunate, but there's still a lot of fire departments, firefighters that don't understand the hazards, the explosive nature of lithium ion batteries when they fail. You look at this incident right here. It happened on September 3rd, 2024. Rail cars, very similar to the number one top explosion that we've seen so far. And these firefighters are on top of this shipping container, cutting into it, trying to gain access so they can put water inside the container. Well, that was anticlimactic, but that's a good thing. This really could have ended tragically. It's incidents like these that show we need a solution to this problem. We need a new hazmat classification that will address these issues head on. That's why I drew up this proposed Class 10 lithium ion battery placard. This placard with its red top for the fire risk, white and orange bottom for the toxicity and explosive hazard around the gases released, and the UN battery symbol. When on the outside of a trailer, it will clearly mark the dangers inside. This classification should be mandatory on any trailer transporting end-of-life batteries or DDR batteries, as these are the most vulnerable to failure. It's time for change. If we require these placards, first responders will know what's in these trailers, reducing the risk of tragic accidents. Traditionally, regulations, they're written in blood. Let's break that tradition, help spread the word by sharing this video, and let's push for safer roads for everyone.